What's up and welcome back to a video I should have probably uploaded two weeks ago, but then I thought I should do it different this time. Usually when a new Call of Duty game comes out, I immediately review it before I even have a chance to play the multiplayer. Well this time is a little different. I decided to play at least two weeks of the game and now I have some positive and negative feedback on the game. <clears throat> I want to... There's actually really a lot to talk about this game. <clears throat> I guess the, th the first thing I'll talk about is the matchmaking. The the way the I like the way the matchmaking works and how it, I don't like how it works at the same time. They brought back the feature I liked in Infinite Warfare, where you join a pre-game lobby. It'll tell you if the match is started or not, and it lets you decide if you want to be put in the middle of that match or not. That's a cool feature they brought back. But the feature that I don't like actually took me a while to notice because I thought it was just a bug in the game. It kicks you out of every lobby you play when the game finishes. I mean, what's the point of that? that? It makes it harder to find a lobby that hasn't started. And what if I want to continue to play with the people that I liked chatting with? And as you can see on PlayStation, what if I'm chatting with somebody on Xbox or PC? If I lose contact with that person when I like them, I can never see them again because I can never send them a friend request. I can never send them a message. I'll never see that person again, as far as I know. That's definitely one thing that needs to change about the matchmaking. Another thing, the spawns. Really, Infinity Ward? World War II and, and Black Ops 4 had the worst spawns I have th that anyone has ever seen, and you copy and paste those same spawn mechanics? Your maps are massive, yet I still can't run two feet out of my spawn without getting killed. And on top of that, you won't even do anything about the people that are exploiting those poor spawns. You know what I do to those people that exploit the spawns? I report them. You know why? Because I can if you go down, well, I, I'm not gonna bring up recent players because I'm not gonna show their their names on the I'm not gonna show their names on the video. But of course, you go to that name, you go to report somebody. There's an option to report them for exploiting. Why have an option to report somebody for exploiting if you're not going to do anything about the players that are actually exploiting that bug? It's the same problem with Grand Theft Auto Online. You can report people for griefing, but yet Rockstar Games encourages people to grief by painting you on the mini-map of where your special cargo or air freight, all that kind of stuff is. It's, it's the same principle with reporting people for exploiting in this game. Now, don't get me wrong. The multiplayer, it actually feels fine. Except for Ground War. I mean... I'm not even going to call it Ground War. I'm going to call it Conquest. You know why? Because that's what it is. Ground War and Modern Warfare is 100% a copy and paste of Conquest from any Battlefield game you could possibly think of. I mean, they just completely ripped that off from Battlefield, and I, I don't like that. Night Vision Mode and Realism Mode? Huh. Realism's not even here anymore. I didn't even notice that. But Night Vision Mode? It's fun. It's something different. I don't like how they hid the hardcore playlist from us. Like there's, it just says select category. You don't, you never see that because all you do is look through the, the game modes. Like gunfight to me, gunfight is a waste of time because you can't use create a class. I mean, if I'm gonna play a game mode, I'm gonna use the weapon that I have set up. So I can complete the camo challenges. Speaking of camo challenges, there's nothing wrong with them. Camo challenges have not been this easy since Modern Warfare 3. And Modern Warfare 3 was the was to me was the last good Call of Duty game. That was eight years ago. So yes, it feels good playing a game where earning the camouflages is super easy. And the attachments? I love the amount of attachments you can put on a weapon. Like, just the amount of weapons they put in this game is ridiculous. But there's one problem I see with the launchers. 
that for some reason hasn't been fixed yet, but should have been. You see, I only have a hundred. I'm only level one of this rocket launcher. That's because I have one kill with it. I have destroyed more kill streaks in this game than I can possibly count. Yeah, apparently destroying kill streaks does not give you weapon XP. The only the only weapon in this game that would possibly be any good for actually killing people with is the RPG-7. Because you can't lock on to players with it. You would have no choice but to kill people with this. But these other three? Can, destroying kill streaks should reward you with XP. Because I'm not going to run around with a rocket launcher for who knows how long. I'm still stuck on the first weapon. <sighs> there are a lot of problems with this game right now. So I can't even think of. Now perks. They did go with the perks. I got my scavenger. I got my ghost. As long as I can have those two perks active at one time, I have no problem with the perks. Lethals are, well, except for the claymore being unlocked. You don't even have to unlock it. You have immediate access to it. And all people do with these things is just... I mean, I know they're using them for the intended purpose, but it's excessive. Tacticals aren't that bad. Oh yeah, kill streaks. It took me a while to notice this, but if you, some people like to run around with just one or two kill streaks, but I, for example, I have precision airstrike, VTOL jet, and support helo. What if I want to just run with the precision airstrike? Let's take off the helo, take off the VTOL. I just have one kill streak selected, right? Wrong. You back out, and the three kill streaks that you deselected will automatically be reselected. I do not like that. What if I want to run with just just simple kill streaks? I'm not allowed to just leave one off of it. I mean, I'd be underpowered at that point. You think tr you think the developers would be trying to k stop you from being under overpowered? I'm trying to be underpowered. I don't get it. And obviously they don't mind if you're under if you're overpowered if you can select a juggernaut, a gunship, and a chopper gunner all in the same kill streak selection. Obviously they don't care. Now one problem uh, I'm worried about this one. Where is it? Rank progression. I understand that there's no prestiging in this game. You just get to level 55. You have everything unlocked. You never have to worry about it again. And you just continue through level like 56, 57, etc. etc. I did I've recently found out that Modern Warfare's loot system, or however you want to call it, is gonna be designed like a battle pass. I'm thinking, okay, so it's just like Black Ops 4. Yes and no. It's going to be like Black Ops 4, but here's the reality. When this first season of uh, Battle Pass is supposed to start, for example, if I'm level, let's say 87, if you're above, if you're, if I'm level 87 and they start that season, are my level is going to be reset back to 55. I ask this, why? Why is there a progression system in the game if that progression gets reset? Okay, I'm at, for, for another example, let's say I'm at level 156. I feel proud of myself at that point. I've accomplished so much in so little time that out of nowhere I log in after a software update and I'm back at level 55 like, huh? So you're telling me all that hard work I just did for three to four weeks straight was for nothing? I just wasted three weeks of my life playing this game just to have all my hard work reset? If if I log into Modern Warfare one day and I see that my level has been reset, I'm boycotting this game until they fix that because I refuse to waste any more of my any more time in my life on this game if all your progress just gets reset. That's why I hate Fortnite. See, for, 
the fact that Fortnite ruins uh, uh, ten-year-olds is not the reason I hate Fortnite. The first time I played Fortnite was halfway through season three. I loved it. It actually felt like a good game. But then season four started my level get reset. I raged so hard when I learned the hard way that all your progress gets reset. I actually broke one of my controllers. That's how much it infuriates me. Sorry about that. That's how much it infuriates me when all my hard work gets reset. There are the other uh, past Call of Duty games. I'm still grinding out those games. That's what makes going back and play old Call of Duty games fun because you can still grind out that progression. But if Modern Warfare is going to reset that, what's the point of continuing to waste my life with it? But yes, I know. There's plenty of camo challenges to work with. You know, progress through the, the weapon levels, the camos. But it's the principle of the fact that all your hard work gets reset. This, I'm dreading the day this happens because I know it's going to happen. I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty for eight years. You know how hard that's going to be for me to just quit something that I've been doing for eight years? I love this game. Even though it has a, even though it has a lot of problems that need to be fixed, I love this game. I have not enjoyed a Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 3. It's eight years ago. I know I'm saying that excessively. I don't care. It gets my point across. But Infinity Ward has made some of the best games. I even like Ghosts and Infinite Warfare. If Infinity Ward, of all the developers out there, ruined the series for me, I've already made this decision for my for my Twitch channel. If Modern if Modern Warfare ruins the way I play Call of Duty, not only will I retire from playing Call of Duty, but I will retire from playing first person shooters. And to me, I see that as an absolute win. Because when I play games like this, I'll get certain lobbies where I get really irritated. I just get really, really frustrated. Not with the game, but with the people that play the game. The campers and the game bug exploiters. Oh, and let's not forget the modders. It infuriates me that when, the, when I'm in the mood to go back and play Modern Warfare 3, that there's just modders running all over the place that, that the developers refuse to do anything about. I actually feel a little part of myself die inside. Because I'm looking at the game... Of all the video games I've ever played in my life, the one I enjoyed the most, be ruined by scumbags that have nothing better to do with their life but ruin other people's time, I mean, other, other people's fun, it just sickens me. It sickens me that the developers that charge $60 for this game don't even care about it. I'm still talking about Modern Warfare 3. <sighs> And another, and another part of that being a win, there are so many games on my shelf that I have bought in the past that I've always wanted to play. I have PS3 games on my shelf that still have the shrink wrap on them. So if Modern Warfare, so if I log in one day and see that my stats have been reset, I, I'm when I retire, I'm gonna retire from player versus player games. Not only will my life be a, a whole lot less stressful, but I can finally play the video games that I've always wanted to play. I can go back and play some of my favorite single player games. Now I'll still play the story modes of Call of Duty. I'll still play Call of Duty Zombies. Nothing wrong with playing Zombies. At least that has a progression system. Uh, Infinity Ward, if you're listening to this, please don't ruin this game for me. Not a single one of your games have been bad. I don't care what community. I don't know what. I don't care what the community says. Because Ghost, you did a good job, except for the large maps. And the only problem I had with Infinite Warfare, you know what? I don't think I did have a problem with uh, Infinite Warfare. I kind of like the boost jumping while while running. People complained about Call of Duty being 
oh, it's, it's the same thing every year. If I'm, I'm not going to spend $60 on the same thing if I can just keep playing the one I have. Call, Call of Duty is different every time. The play, Even though the play style remains the same, I like that. You know why I like progression? Triggers that OCD. I don't think there's anything else left to say about this game. Overall, I love this game. I am enjoying the hell out of it. But there's just so many things that need to be fixed. Three things that need to be fixed about this game. The spawns. Getting kicked out of a lobby every time you play. And the launcher challenges, which don't give you XP for when you destroy kill streaks. Oh, I didn't even talk about the crossplay. How could I not forget about the most important thing on here? As you can see, my crossplay is disabled. I only disable it when I'm playing solo. Because when I'm playing by myself, I'm not playing against players that use a mouse and keyboard. And yes, I know there are PlayStation users that use a mouse and keyboard, but the game tells you whether or not a player is using a mouse and keyboard. Still, it's not an issue for me. The only time I have crossplay enabled is when I'm playing with my Xbox friends or my PC friends, but that's it. Well, that's pretty much my thoughts on uh, Modern Warfare. I'm probably, but, ew. I'm going to have to say this, one more thing about Modern Warfare. Not only, if, if, Modern War, if Modern Warfare resets my stats, not only will Modern Warfare go on the top of my list of the worst Call of Duty ever made, but Infinity Ward themselves will go on my shit list as the worst video game developers ever made. Well, that's it for this video. Next video I try to upload, it'll probably be my final review for Black Ops 4. Viewer discretion advised, that, vi that video is not going to be positive. And by no means is it going to be family friendly. I consider Black Ops 4 to be the second worst Call of Duty ever made. No more spoilers of that video. Until next time.